Hello and welcome. My name is Nick and this is Nick's Car Surgeries. Today we're playing with my recently purchased BMW E36 and we're sorting one of the most common problems with the digital display on the instrument cluster. So the issue with the cluster is this little digital display here that shows your mileage and your service intervals. Basically, it suffers from two types of problems. You either don't see anything on it or the numbers that you see are missing pixels and they're very distorted so you can't read them and that's basically what's happening with mine so here's ignition and let's see what happens as you can tell the numbers are all distorted and you can't see them this is not a display fault it's rather a fault with the soldering of the pins that go through the circuit board in the actual instrument cluster so today I'll show you how to take the cluster out and what actually how to take it apart and what needs to be done to get this fixed. You don't need to spend any money, you just need to have the right tools. Step one, remove the instrument cluster from the car. What we need to do is remove two Torx screws, one there and one there. For that, I'm using a little stubby screwdriver and the bit that is a T20 as you can see there. So we have the screws out. Now we need to pry the cluster out. So what I use is one of these trim removal tools. So I will push it in here. the cluster out and then just pull on the tabs gently left and right and the mesh comes out the cluster comes out getting it through the steering wheel is the fun bit so i'll need to change the angle for that all right so now that the cluster is halfway out we need to unplug it before it can come out Basically, the steering wheel goes all the way down, pull it up as much as you can, and you'll see three connectors. So unplug those, and once I unplug them, I will show you the trick on how to actually unplug these. Nothing hard, just a bit fiddly. So the cluster is unplugged. What I do is this to try to get it out. And there you go, the cluster is out, no need to take the steering wheel out. So this is the hole that we left after the instrument cluster is out. And I wanted to show you what the connectors look like. So you have a blue one, you have a little black one, and you have a white one. The white one, you can't make a mistake pretty much. This one goes to the left this, and these two go to the right. When they are plugged in, this white clip stays like this. So basically what needs to happen is this little tab here needs to be pressed in and then this moved all the way down. That that will actually push the plug out of the cluster. When you are installing it, this is fiddly, again you'll have to do it by feel. The plug goes in, as soon as you push it in, this clip will go back all the way up by itself as you push the plug in. So one more time. Little tab goes in. You push this all the way out, which actually unplugs the plug. And when you're plugging it back in, it's the reversal. So not hard, just fiddly. Takes time to actually get it done right, but nothing crazy. It can be done easily. Okay, so now the cluster is out and this is the back of the cluster. What we can see here are different bulbs that come up with different lights on the dash. We've got three big ones that light up the whole instruments, the uh, speedo and the wrap counter. In here are the two light bulbs, well one, because the other one burnt out, but these are the ones that give the light to the display. So 
these are on order and I will replace them as we go. But to get the cover off, what I'm using is a Torx screwdriver, number 10. It has to be a screwdriver because of these holes. You can't use extensions or anything like that. So you've got one, two, three, four, five screws to take out and the cover will come off. All right, so the five screws are out. It comes apart like so. So the top part of it will come out. Once you take the screws out, it's actually not very easy to separate these, especially because it's 25 year old plastic. Now we end up with these. So what needs to happen here is we will need to drill out these plastic rivets, if you want to call them. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them. And the 10 millimeter drill is what needs to, what we need to use to actually get it done. So when drilling these out, I'll try to zoom in to show you. Don't drill a hole. All we need is for this little hat, let's call it, to go away. So it needs to be like that, like this one here, so the actual circuit board can come up. So I've done that one there, and that one there, so this can come off. So now that we've drilled everything out, one thing that I will mention is on the back of this, on these connectors, in each corner, there is a little clip that needs to be unclipped before the circuit board will come out. I used a really tiny screwdriver that goes in each hole for these to come out. So you would put your finger on the edge and push down on the controller, while with the other hand, you put the clip in. And the plastic cover comes off. So this is the back of the circuit board. What we are interested in are these connectors here. And these are the problem. These are the ones that create all the chaos. So we'll get these redone. A little bit of solder on it. Pin. The most important thing about soldering stuff up with such small pitch is using good quality quality solder and flux. As I always say, flux is your friend. Obviously, be mindful of the little plastic connectors. Okay. okay, and after you, you solder a bit of IPA, alcohol, and just clean up the flux residue. As you can see, all the flux. You can put as much isopropyl alcohol as you need just to give it a nice clean obviously get rid of any fluff nice shiny 
joints for a proper finish. Okay, there you go. So now that everything is done, the plaster goes back the way we took it apart, just the reverse process, everything clips in, it's actually very easy to put it back. And here is the final result. Everything working as it should. Clear numbers, clear service indicator, job well done. So guys, that's it, job well done. I did enlist the help of a professional. I wasn't confident in doing these, um, these things myself all the soldering and everything because the pins are so tiny but a confident person could do this by themselves with no issues thank you for watching and please consider sub subscribing see you later